Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and let's look at this diagram very carefully and quickly. So here we have beams supported on columns, and there's a couple of terms you need to know in order to do the calculations for tributary width and tributary area. So the first thing we want to recognize is the term beam span. The beam span is the length that each beam is. And if you look at this diagram, going to these reference grids here, you can see that each beam is 18 feet long in this example. So that's beam span. Then the other thing you need to recognize is beam spacing. So we're looking at the space between these beams and they are six foot eight inches long. Remember to convert everything to decimal feet when you're doing these calculations. So if you look at this, we have six, eight, six, eight, six, eight. So if you were looking at the tributary width of this beam here, you would take half of six foot eight and half of six foot eight and add those two together and it's six foot eight. So if your beam spacing is symmetric, it's equal to one of the beam spaces, half of one of these and half of one of these. If it's asymmetric or at the edge, you only have to consider half of that. Or if there, uh, let's say that this beam spacing is different between these two, you would do half of this one plus half of this one to find the tributary area, okay? So I'll have you doing some calculations for um, symmetric and asymmetric tributary areas and widths. All right, so let's take a look at an example here. We want to uh, find the tributary width, the tributary area, and the uniform loading on a beam. So our beam spans 12 feet. That means in our diagram here, this would be 12 feet long. The left spacing is eight foot six and the right spacing is six foot four. So that would mean it's asymmetric. So it would be eight foot six on this side and six foot four on this side. Uh, the total floor load, and this is usually composed of a dead load and a live load. So we're going to call this total floor load 97 pounds per square foot. All right, with those numbers, we can find these things. The tributary width, we need to understand half of the left side and half of the right side. So first we convert to decimal feet here by taking eight and a half divided by two, and we get 4.25 feet on the left side. On the right side, we need half of that distance. So it's six foot four, which means 6.3 <laughs> feet divided by two. So we get 3.165 feet on the right side. We add the left side, half the left side and half the right side together, and we get a tributary width of 7.415 feet. To find the tributary area, once you have the tributary uh, width, you can multiply that times the length of the beam or the span of the beam, and we get 88.98 square feet. And then to find the uniform loading, we are using the tributary width in feet times the total loading of the floor, which is 97 pounds per square foot. And when you multiply these two together, you have feet times pounds over square feet. So one of the feet cancel out and you get pounds per linear foot is what we get. So we have 719.2 pounds per linear foot. And that means that every time we go an additional foot, we add that many more pounds just of uniform loading because of the floor. All right, um, that's a real quick walkthrough of how to do these, and I hope you find this helpful. I would suggest take notes so that you're good to go.